In the 90s, Beavis and Butthead was a sensation. On the surface, it seemed like the most mindless, idiotic show on television, but on closer examination, it was funnier and smarter than you'd think. There are two segments to the show. First, there is the narrative segments. This is where you'd see the characters leave the house and interact with society. They'd cause all kinds of trouble and act without discipline. They seem to represent some kind of teenage primal inner self. A warning of what our generation may come to if we don't subdue that inner self. A social satire covered in fart jokes. The other part of the show is where they watch music videos while commenting on them in a very loose and lowbrow kind of way. It gave us a contrast to the formal critic who traditionally tries to compose themselves in a professional, intelligent way. But really all you need is two jackasses sitting on a couch making fun of shit. Beavis and Butthead pioneered today's various styles of reviewing media. Speaking of media, it only seemed natural that they appeared in video games, like this one on Sega Genesis. It was released timely, during the show's popularity. So, a game based on Beavis and Butthead? We're there, dude. This is gonna be cool. Or is it? <laughs> the plot goes like this. Beavis and Butthead get tickets to a Guar concert, but a dog eats the tickets, barfs them up, then they get shredded in a riding mower, scattering the pieces of the tickets all over town, and you gotta find them. A bit far-fetched, but so is the show. In fact, everything about the game is in tune with the show. The humor is there, and the game's graphics look just like the show's animation style. It feels like you're playing a Beavis and Butthead episode. The controls take some time to get used to. It's hard to tell where you're allowed to walk. In the house, you're stuck on a two-dimensional path, even though it appears that you have a whole three-dimensional space to explore. The first thing you do is search the house for items, but anytime I try searching the couch, I end up selecting the TV, and it doesn't let you go back. The TV is the main hub where you select what stage to go to next. We're there, dude. Like Burger World, the fast food joint. Here, I'm wandering around behind the place. There's a door that requires a passcode. Okay, where do I find that? I'll check out the dumpster. Nope, nothing here. Just a dead rat. Looking around, looking around. Wait a minute, how do I get back to the dumpster? There's no logical sense of direction. Try playing it with two players and you're screwed. You're both always going to be moving in different directions, causing the screen to change at inconvenient times, unless one player leads and masters the art of lightning fast communication. Now, where's the passcode? I looked everywhere. You know where to find it? I know. In the cheater's guide. That's where. The passcode is butthead? Okay, I thought it was just gonna be numbers. I didn't know it was gonna spell out a word. Why does the finger go in between the keys? It shouldn't do that. Ah, oh, I hit the wrong key. How do I delete it? Oh, core? That's the backspace key? What's core? I mean, correct? Correct. Oh my god. Oh, why couldn't they just have D-E-L for delete? And you know, who would ever be named Butthead anyway? Maybe his parents intended it to be pronounced Bathied. Okay, now we're inside. That was way too much hassle. There's a guy demanding service. You go in the back to get his meal. You're supposed to drop the rat into the fryer along with some fries. So, did I drop it? Or what? What am I supposed to do? Oh, the drop button up there is not for dropping the items into the fryer. No, it's for dropping them on the floor, which is so conveniently hidden by the foreground plane that you would never know the difference. To drop them in the fryer, you select the items, then use the C button. Ah, <laughs> oh, silly me. I'm such a shit feed. Who'd ever thought it'd be self-explanatory? Drop the item in the fryer by selecting drop. Figuring this game out is as awkward as trying to wipe your ass in the dark with a piece of floss while doing a handstand! Or like a one-legged cat trying to bury a turd on a frozen pond. So then you feed the guy this glorious dead rat Happy Meal. Yeah. 
he pukes it up, and what comes out? A piece of the tickets. How did he eat a piece of the tickets? I know it's just a game, but come on! That'd be like if I ripped up a piece of paper, and then somehow a piece ended up in a dog's ass across the street. Everywhere you walk, there's something on the ground trying to kill you. Beavis and Butthead each have their own health meter, so you can switch between them to conserve health, but it doesn't take long for it to drain. And it doesn't matter who dies, whether it's Beavis or Butthead, all it takes is one of them, and the game's over. No extra lives, no continues, nothing. You can save the game, but you have to make it back alive to the exit, return to the house, and go to the poster where you can put the piece of the tickets in a safe place. Then it gives you a password. But after you die, it doesn't continue. It still resets back to the beginning. In other words, every time you die, you have to enter the password. It shouldn't make you do that! The purpose of a password is for when you turn the game off and come back another time! Uh, okay, so let's enter the password. Wait, I picked password? What happened? Watch as I clearly highlight password. I hit start and the game starts up from the beginning as if nothing happened. You have to hit A, or possibly any of the other buttons. Now you get the password screen. Yay! But it's made of upper and lowercase letters. When you're writing that down, how are you going to tell the difference between an upper and lowercase X or O or K? What about the L? That's not even a real lowercase L, it's just a smaller uppercase L. And how are you supposed to enter the password when the damn arm is in the fucking way? The dumbasses who made this game have all the intelligence of a brick? Combined? Did Beavis and Butthead design this game? All right, done. Uh, what's happening? Okay, guess what button you press this time? Start. Wait, where's my fucking health? Where's my fucking items? The ticket piece is still there, but other than that, the password is useless. What good is a password if you're almost dead and all your items are gone? I don't want to collect this shit all over again. This game is less fun than 52 card pickup. I don't even know what to say. I'm out of words. So how do you refill your health? One way, you could eat the rotten burger next to the dumpster, then go to the sick room at the hospital if you can make it that far before the burger continuously drains all your health. And even if you make it that far, good luck getting back out of the hospital. They block the exit with some fart knocker who thinks he's at a barbecue. At first I thought he was wearing a doctor's smock, but it's a cooking apron. And he has a burger on a spatula, I guess. I think they put him on the wrong stage by accident. By the way, there is a quicker way to get out of a stage, by choosing sucks. But all the items you collected in the stage are now gone, making it pointless. Another way to get health is to shoot a million spitballs at these police officers who look like Don Knotts. They sometimes give you health. But look at how many hits it takes to kill this butt munch! Every stage, no matter where you go, the enemies are too abundant. And if you step back an inch, another one spawns in its place. You're caught in a surge of bowling balls, skateboards, and pedestrians. Jeez, enough is enough. There should be a name for this kind of game. Actually, there is. It's called crap. There's a part where you get a gun, but most of the enemies in this area are all birds and rats which are next to impossible to shoot. The rats especially because they're too close to the ground. Did you think you can duck and shoot? <laughs> no, you can't. In the sewers, most of the gaps are too wide to jump. Get over there! Get over there! Ah! Fuck! You know what, you fucking game? I banged your mom. The part I hate most of all is the hospital. You're racing down the halls, and there's a naked guy chasing after you. If he catches you, it's game over. Why is he naked anyway? I know why he's naked. Because he has no clothes on. And what are these things? Health? No! In any real game, a white container with a red cross on it is always health. But not in this piece of shit. Here, they slow you down. And you're in the middle of the screen, giving you no time to react. It's over. I don't know. I guess to give a closing statement, 
While viewed on its own merits, it is non-derivative of its genre. However, when it has an originality, it lacks in fun. Though it tries to bear the mantle of a problem-solving thinking game, it speaks less to the brain and more to the anus. I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of the most brutal, most unforgiving, worst games I ever played. It's so bad, it goes beyond analysis. And I've critiqued so many games, I don't even know what to say anymore. That's it. It says it right there. The game is telling me that it sucks. That's all I need to say. This game sucks. That's the phrase it all comes down to. That's where it all started. This game sucks. Beavis and Butthead taught me everything I need to know. You know what else they taught me? Change it. This game sucks. Alright, here's one on Super Nintendo. I guess if we're, like, going 16-bit, then, you know. <laughs> yes! Yes! Lives! It has lives! And whoa, you can duck. This game is, like, easier to figure out. It's just gooder. You don't gotta figure out what button... butt on. I said butt on. You don't gotta think in this game. Just move right and beat everything with a stick. Yeah, beat that stick. Look at the birds taking a dump. Hey, look, there's Daria. <laughs> Diarrhea. You can, like, switch between Beavis and Butthead, but why? In the other game, they have their own health bars, but... This time, they don't. Sometimes you can do co-op moves like this, but not that much. You know, it's weird. It has the same plot and almost all the same stages as the Genesis version, like the hospital and the high school, but they're different. So they made the same game, but it's not the same game. Wouldn't it have been easier to, like, make the same game once instead of uh, make the same game twice, or something? I'm like, dead. Uh, you still gotta put the password in to keep playing? Okay, put in the password in. Let's go. Uh, no lives? Health almost gone? Fuck! I am the great Cornholio! I need TP for my bunghole!